Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we understood about transactional processing and analytical processing. We understood the same type of systems will not be able to tackle the transactional processing and analytical processing. So we understood we need to have data warehouses for analytical processing. As a part of this lecture, at a high level, we'll understand what is data warehouse. Data warehouse is a technology. The way we have a RDBMS, that is a relational database management systems, data warehouse is also a technology that aggregates data from multiple sources so that it can be compared, analyzed, for greater business intelligence. At a high level, this is what data warehouse is. Let us look at one more definition of a data warehouse. A data warehouse is constructed by integrating the data from multiple heterogeneous sources that support analytical reporting, structured or ad hoc queries, and decision making. What do you mean by heterogeneous sources? Heterogeneous sources means a data can come from different sources. We may get a data from RDBMS. Within RDBMS, we may get a data from Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL. And we may get a data from the semi-structured data. What are the characteristics of data warehouse? In data warehouse, we usually have long running bad job because we are not looking at only one or two records here. We're looking at potentially millions of records. And it is optimized for read operations. Usually in data warehouse, we wouldn't be updating on a continuous basis the way we do in a RDBMS. It holds data from multiple sources. We already have discussed about this. And it holds a data for a long period of time. We may be thinking about last 10 years data, last 20 years data. Data may be lagged, not real time. What do we mean by that? Lagged means the data which is a historical data, which is stored over a period of months or a period of years. Real time data, as you know, as and when we are speaking now, the data gets accumulated, data gets processed. But in data warehouse, we are storing a data which is a historical data. What are the functions of data warehouse tools? First and foremost thing is they do data extraction. Data extraction involves gathering the data from multiple sources, which are heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means they're not same. And then next it involves data cleansing. Data cleansing involves finding and correcting the errors in data, various types of errors. Maybe the date format may not be matching. And data transformation, it involves converting the data from legacy format to warehouse format. So since we are getting the data from multiple sources, data warehouse requires the data in a particular format so that you can homogenize the data which is coming from heterogeneous sources. For that to happen, the data will go through a data transformation to conform to the standards or formats of the data warehouse. Next, data loading, which involves sorting, summarizing, consolidating, and checking the integrity issues, building the indices and partitions for the fast access. The last thing is, refreshing which involves updating the data from data sources to data warehouse all these characteristics usually is summarized something called etl what is etl extraction transformation and load that is what etl is typically in data warehouses as we have already indicated we get a data from multiple sources we are indicating some three sources here. We extract the data from multiple sources and we 
load it to something called staging area. Staging area is again some Oracle database or some database where we just get the data to this area so that we can subject that to some transformation. After we get the data to staging area, we'll subject that to the transformation. Once the transformation is done, we'll load it to the data warehouse. That data will be either transferred to something called data march or it will be pushed to the some analytical tools. Some of the examples of the data warehouses are we have Amazon Redshift, we have Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse, and we have IBM DB2, we have Teradata. In the recent times, Snowflake is also getting a lot of popularity in data warehouses. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.